Good morning, folks. We know yesterday began with a mid-six pointer in America Central, but not long after that, a mid-six pointer struck southern Japan. There were no tsunamis at either event. Throughout the day and night, the western subduction zone of the Americas continued to rumble from Mexico down to Chile. Moving to the Indian Ocean, same buoy, minor deviation, still paying attention to see if we get a repeat of the Arabian Sea activity to follow. A moment for climate extremes, just as Egypt and the surrounding areas broke very old cold and snow records the past few months, they're now seeing unseasonable heat and dust storms. West Pacific Tropical Storm has its name and its direction, just no people in front of him. It's probably a good thing. To the southeast, we see another named system heading further southeast. We actually have another solid low just east of New Zealand as well, lingering rain over Australia today. The low cell in Europe has traded in most of its power for size. It now maintains the counterclockwise drive around the entire purple pressure system, fed of course by the high in white below. It might appear that the wind is worst over the water, but just a few steps higher we see that power maintained over the continent as well. The U.S. convergence in the east is easy to see. The combination of gulf heat and moisture with northern cold is making for thunderstorms in the south, sleet and freezing rain up along the storm line. Meanwhile, Parts out west won't have it much easier as the Pacific systems again drive a line of precipitable water right at the coastline there. Let's look at the solar wind. We see a minor density variation with no speed ramp, but the BZ component of Earth's magnetic field, above in red, tipped south immediately. We did not quite rise to a geomagnetic storm level, but our sensitive meters show the disruption to our magnetic shield quite clearly. Looking at the flaring, we had a lot of impulsive M flaring over the last couple of days, but nothing major. Proton bombardment has officially dropped to where we're below polar radiation storm levels. Let's take a look at the sunspots. The departing group up north has a beautiful Delta class umbral mix at the backside of it there. The new beasts down south, we focused yesterday on the central development to the lateral spread, and mix it did. More spread than I anticipated actually, but still a great example of positive and negative umbral mixing there will also be worthwhile to monitor that next batch of spots incoming on the north. Also of significance, I was pretty off on my one to two day prediction until the coronal hole faced earth. It happened just a few hours after the morning news yesterday, both north and south opening up but the mega power is on the south. Strongest coronal hole to face earth in quite some time. That is the primary earthquake factor, let's hope those six pointers are all we get, it's already quite the upshift from previous weeks. Also good to monitor the eruptive threat from plasma filaments, those thin, dark, snake-like ropes hovering above the solar surface. Current conditions and plasma dance on the western limb to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.